All right, so I'm about to show off my digital media project. Uh, so what I've made here is a drum kit, or a uh, a pretty slap uh, slap shot drum kit, I should say. Uh, it's powered by an Arduino, uh, connected to some drum pads that I fashioned out of rubber, foam, and metal on a wood frame. And I've got a couple of other pads. I've got one pad here to represent a cymbal connected. And a kick, uh, a kick drum pad right down here. So, uh, it's limited by the uh, analog connections to the Arduino. So that can always be increased with the multiplexer, but right now I'm stuck at six analog connections. So six pads is what I'll have to deal with. Anyway, uh, kind of just show some impact and the variation in the volume here. You can hit it lightly or a little harder and it'll it'll reflect that in the volume. This is the hi-hat right here. Hard to get a good grip on it with the pencil. It's different than drumstick, of course. There's a tom. A left tom, I should say, on a, on a drum rack. And a, a floor tom, I guess. Right here we've got a cymbal, I've got a little uh, china. And down here's the kick drum. This one's a little bit more finicky to get accurate readings on because the foot's not exactly the best uh, trigger for the pad. It'd be ideal to have a, a foot switch. But uh, And here's the setup for the wiring. I took it out of the enclosure because the enclosure is a nightmare to deal with all the wires. So here you can see that you've got the uh, the connections all right over here. Kind of hard to see and blurry. Um, and then over here we've got where the I've got a, a button over here, and uh, I didn't have this during the class demonstration, but basically, and I don't have a button on me, so I had to use aluminum foil. Uh, the way this works is uh, it's it's a hi hat switch, so whenever you close the hi-hat on a drum kit you're gonna get a harsher sound on the hi-hat than an open hi-hat sound. This is the open hi-hat sound so this is default and what this would represent is having a button and then having it uh, not pressed. So not pushing a hi-hat foot switch and put these two together and you're pressing the hi-hat foot switch you're pushing a button down that I would have if I had one and that's the result. So I'll kind of leave those together. And that's basically it. I can run through a little bit of the code and a little bit of the pure data. Uh, and I'll show off the light show, I forgot. So right here we've got a processing screen. And there's some graphical changes that depend on the input and the uh, velocity. So there you can kind of see that it'll do uh, a couple of a couple of different graphical uh, options, and we've got the Arduino code here. Uh, I'll let you come through the code yourselves, and I'll just kind of show the pure data. It's just a bunch of objects uh, to represent drum hits and routes. Uh, we send the message over to processing over here, and here's just a bunch of you can open the tables and kind of pick up your own sounds from the folder that I have provided and um, processing code right here you can kinda just see that I've got I get a drum uh, the pad that is being hit I get the power and I have this variable A that just gets thrown around and uh, I iterate with it and this variety farm number is basically just a random integer picked at the beginning of a draw uh, function iteration and it'll pick a random uh, I guess graphical argument to go with because these are all different different types of graphical activities and it'll pick one and it'll go with it so that's basically everything um, hard to demo it with one hand with the phone so forgive me some better quality pads this would be a real 
interesting and fun little uh little kit, I suppose. But yeah, thanks for watching.